Texas A&M University Libraries is a um, fairly large uh, academic research library. Of course, we serve the campus of Texas A&M University, which is itself a very large campus. Ranking I hear is that we're about second in the country in terms of size, so it's, it's big. The challenges that we face at the libraries relates a lot to integration. Uh, a lot of the things that we offer to campus in terms of resources are electronic resources. And not surprisingly, because those resources come from a variety of vendors, um, they all have different rules. With Folio, we think that we can actually start integrating now with other products and other services in the library. The open architecture that we see in Folio gives us that capability now. It represents such an innovative and I think exciting um, and a different approach to uh, software development for libraries that is really unique and fascinating and I think has tremendous potential to move, us, to move us forward in a number of significant ways. It's going to help our customers uh, discover assets, discover resources, and then effectively manage those resources. We have two developers who are involved at the coding level, and at least one of them full-time has been with the project from its outset. The technologies that have been selected and the uh, architecture and approaches that have been selected to accomplish uh, uh, building Folio are uh, very uh, forward-thinking and modern. Having an opportunity to actually build something that you need uh, is, is, is phenomenal. My hope is with Folio is that there are, it will cut down the number of systems that we have to use. I, I, I think we're always going to have multiple systems we have to deal with, but you know, if we could cut that number down by half, that would be awesome. I've heard a lot of talk about modularity and software development over the years, but um, Folio will truly be modular in the sense that you can you can have some you can run if you want some pieces of it and not run other pieces of it. You can develop other pieces that run underneath it. So if you don't like the official um, circulation module, for example, well then you're more than welcome to run somebody else's circulation module, that sort of thing. We like to be able to, for instance, do research and find reference to an article or a study and then be able to very quickly track down where that data is, reference that material. And using Folio and its APIs and developing modules for API means that our library catalog will always be part of that project. What's new and unique about, and there are a number of things new and unique about Folio. One is basically, is simply the basic approach to how we're doing the development. It's not going to be a proprietary system and it's going to be open source. And it is a truly unique partnership between um, a community of libraries, a for-profit um, developer of software, and a for-profit for -profit vendor in the library marketplace. So it's a partnership with um, a community of librarians saying, hey, this is what we need. Let's work together, let's collaborate, and let's build it. It's a partnership that is truly meaningful. Um, my previous experience with library vendors, uh, when they talk about, in libraries, uh, talk about partnership with vendors, it really doesn't, it hasn't meant much. Um, it's still basically the old model of the library vendor develops something that the vendor thinks that you want, you react to it, and then you either buy it or you don't. And the partnership piece of it seems to be just about trying it out on a beta basis, and that's about it. This is, this is far beyond that level of development and integration. What, what I see unique about this uh, project first off from the very outset is the partnership and collaboration. It, it is great to be able to work with uh, developers from institutions such as Cornell and Duke and Lehigh in Chicago. Um, Every library is different. Uh, we all have unique skill sets, but we also have um, things that are important to us or vendors or databases that are critical to us and our needs. And um, it's not that any one library's priorities is more important than another, but taken together, um, they form a community of usage which if we can do it right, and so far so good, uh, will make a product that uh, will serve a lot of people very, very well.
We are now involved at a level that we've never seen before. We're actually developing code. We're discussing services and resources at levels that just never, we never get to at a user's group meeting. That's the value of the open source community for us.